Hey, what's going on guys? I want to do a quick video comparing both the cool white to the neutral white versions of the new Archer flashlights from Thrunite. These are the Archer 2As uh, V3 version 3. All right, so both these lights take two AA batteries. They're both pumping out 500 lumens, but I, I just want to show you the color difference between a cool white and neutral white uh, flashlight. I've done this before in the past, but because of these new lights, I'm eventually going to do a review on this, and this might help you decide as to which light you'd want and why. So if you guys remember, I used to have solar lights, like, kind of down the path, but uh, I haven't cleaned up the path anymore, so there is no path. <laughs> so I've actually swapped them. What you're looking at there is uh, next to the bench. I kept one on each side, but now I have a landing strip, so I know how to get in my driveway if I ever need to fly a plane. So anyway, um, <laughs> so let me, uh, let me show you what these look like on high. All right, so first we have the cool white. Okay, now I want you to take notice of the coloration. This is on high, okay, so we have full 500 lumens. All right, awesome flashlight for uh, 2 AA, you know, configuration here. Uh, lots of light, and in fact, more than you can see in the video. The human eye picks up more light, so I'm seeing like a wider spread than you guys are looking at. But uh, take a look at the grassy area. Obviously, there's lots of leaves and stuff, but uh, notice just its coloration, right? Again, this is the cool white version. So let me switch over to the neutral white version. All right, see the color difference here? The leaves actually appear to be brown as opposed to like a light blue. All right, I'm going to swap back and forth. All right, neutral white, cool white. Neutral white, cool white. So there's a big difference in the coloration um, with the temperature of the LED. Just really interesting. I mean, a lot of people always wonder like, hey, what's the difference? And that's kind of why I'm making this update video, even though I've talked about this before, I wanted to, uh, to show you, you know, in a physical situation where we're outside where you may be using your flashlight, like out in the woods or something like that. Uh, even if I point down on the driveway here, all right, this is the cool white, neutral white. All right, see the color difference here? If I put them side by side, you can really you know, see the difference here. All right. All right, so now I'm pointing at the outside of the house here so you guys can see the color differences. All right, so right now they're on moonlight mode. All right, and I'm only about maybe three feet away from the wall. Let's bump it up. See the cool white is on the left and the neutral white is on the right. Bump it up again. And there's the 500 lumens. I'm actually gonna separate these a little bit. So again, on the left here, all right, or uh, cool white. It's more of a, you know, a pure white with a little bit of a bluish tint, okay? Whereas the neutral white on the right here is more of a yellowish uh, color, you know, kind of an off-white to, uh, to yellow-white color. But what happens is with the, uh, the cool white on the left, it tends to make things look bluish, okay? Whereas the neutral white gives you more of a natural color. All right, so I have a little rocking chair in my, my garden area, which is not cleaned up. It's full of leaves because I didn't clean yet for spring. Um, and it's super creepy looking because the paint's chipping off of it. But again, just a different visualization of the color differences. Okay, so first, I'm going to let the camera adjust. This is cool white, okay, versus neutral white. Cool white, neutral white. All right, guys, so one last little test here. I'm just pointing off into the woods. All right, first the cool white. Again, just notice how everything just slightly bluish. If you didn't have these lights next to each other, you wouldn't really notice the difference. You know what I mean? It's when you're comparing them side by side uh, is when you can really tell the difference. But if you use one light or the other light consistently, you don't really pick up on these little things, you know? All right, so again, that's cool white. And there's neutral white. You just notice that the ground is much browner. Those leaves are actually you know, showing to be browner, the, the grass is, you know, more true to its color. Okay, even the, the bark in the trees. I'll switch again here. See how there's just a slight bluish, you know, coloration to everything. So, I mean, that's really the big difference. All right. So, there you go. But, if you're wondering which one's brighter, they're both exactly the same. It's just a preference thing. All right, guys, back for a second here. I just want to show you this. I was kind of playing around, and it's just amazing. I mean, 500 lumens on a flashlight, it, it seems kind of like standard these days, but, you know, you're talking about a flashlight that's used two simple AA batteries. All right, I want to show you this tree here. This tree is about 90 feet tall. All right, so let's 
follow it all the way up. And right now I am using the neutral version here. All right, I have a clear view of the entire top of the tree here. All right, so you go around, see all the other trees. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing how much light this puts out. I'm always amazed, technology with flashlights, I mean, it's constantly advancing. And uh, it's just pretty cool. I want to share that with you. It's nice to be able to come out and look at the treetops in the middle of the night. Let me know what's crawling around out here. So, anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.